Good morning to the grind. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning to you. And good morning to the hard work, right? Another day to get it. Another day to grind. Another day to make it happen. Another blessed day that he gave us an opportunity to put the best foot forward towards what we want in our lives. This is the Morning Grind, Grindology 101 podcast. I'm Kijana Owens. Each and every morning, Monday through Friday, 6 a.m. Pacific time. God say so willing, say so fit to give me an opportunity. I'm going to present some encouragement, motivation, some kind of word. And it's my uh, daily method of operation to get up early and get on to what I want in my life. So I chose to use some of the tools of technology of today to broadcast something that might make a difference in somebody else's life. And if we all did something to make a difference in other people's lives, guess what? We'd all be making a difference in other people's lives. That's a magic uh, blueprint to success. I believe that if we all help each other, man, things just change. Think about this this morning. Purpose the passion, the persistence, the diligence, the will to win, to create, to do anything that we want to do in our lives. And what does that take? It takes consistency. It takes persistency. It, it, it takes vision because we're in a world where people will tell you, and I love this, you, you'll find that you're in a good spot. It may not seem like it, but you're in a good spot when people tell you you don't have to do all that that means you're passionate about something that you're consistent to you keep going back you keep taking the class you keep doing the homework you keep going to work you keep you keep you keep you keep doing it just keep going people ask you are you still doing that yes i'm still doing that i'm just a little further along see i'm in a company now it's got 110 plus thousand people in it. But I remember when I began, it was like 18,000 people in the company. Guess what that means? We kept going. Planet Strong, Planet Proud, Planet Mark. What are you doing, though, for your own self, for your own business? And people say, are you still doing that? That's when that thing that says, you know what? He's not going to quit. She's not going to quit. Man, that's something else. And it inspires people even if they think that you're doing too much. We think people are doing too much when we don't want to do the, <laughs> the work ourselves. I'm just saying, think about it. And if you want something in life, you're going to have to do all that. If you want to get somewhere that's a little bit above average, you don't have to do all that. You have to go to the gym early. You might have to stay at the gym later. And I use a gym as a figurative uh, metaphor of the work that it takes. Not the workout gym. Your success gym. Your job could be the gym. The library could be the gym. Reading could be the gym. Working could be the gym. Whatever that gym is that you go to to strengthen your mental muscle, muscle your spiritual muscle, your physical muscle, you know, your drive muscle, your goal muscle, whatever that is for you, keep going to that gym. Today we're going to be talking about it. Persistence, purpose, passion. Now, when you think about the success that you want to achieve, what is it that you're willing to give for what you want to have? What is it that you're willing to give for what you want to have? Nothing worse but the work. Stand by as we get into it. Some of that motivation to start your day off. Have an amazing day. Stand by. This is the Morning Grind. Grindology 101.
price you will pay, the suffering you will go through to make your dream come true is incredibly small than the price you will pay if you never do. You'll pay that one the rest of your life. Ask yourself what you're willing to risk. What's the price you're willing to pay? Because what most people do when they're trying to chase their dream or their big outcome, the whole time they're negotiating the price in their head. Should I continue to do it? Is it worth it? I don't know if I can continue anymore. It's getting higher and that price is failure. That price is setback. That price is looking back. That price can be financial, literally a physical price. Is it getting too high? Is it too much? And you'll have people in your ear, it's too big a sacrifice. You're going through too much. And you begin to negotiate it in your mind. It distracts all your focus. You can't be executing and negotiating simultaneously. If you're in your head negotiating and negotiating and negotiating, you can't execute. So negotiate it now. Now, negotiate it with me now. What are you willing to pay? For me, when I'm after something big, I'm going to get it. And I know that negotiation comes up front. I accept the suffering. I accept the sacrifice. I know the sacrifice is far smaller than the one I'll pay if I don't do it. And I eliminate distractions and I go freaking get what I want in my life just like you can. And this needs to be your recipe as well. Do you expect, based upon your performance, based upon what you produce at this point in time in your life, do you expect to be successful? Do you want to be successful? Do you want to live a life of productivity? Are there dreams you want? Everybody will say yes. But see, want shows up in conversation. Expectation shows up in behavior. See, I can tell what you expect by what you do. Judge a tree by the fruit it bears. Not the fruit that it wants. Not the fruit that it talks about. Not the fruit that it claims but by what you are doing. See, what you do when you leave here, when the music stops, when the shouting dies down, your behavior, how you conduct yourself, writing your goals down, deciding to enroll in school to get a GED, deciding to sit into class with children young enough to be your grandchildren, decide to find some product, some idea, some service that you can provide so that you can begin to create some value for yourself so you can create wealth. If dreams were easy, everybody would make them happen. The problem is that most people, they like, they can't get up in the morning. They ain't got no energy. They don't got the energy to keep up with me. I'm like, boo, ain't nothing wrong with you. You just ain't got the stamina. You just ain't got the energy. You can't smart everything. You can't outthink everything. You can't, some stuff is just, you gotta be powerful. It's just some stuff that you gotta have stamina for. You just too slow. It just take you too long. You wake up, take you three weeks to do what it can take 24 hours to do. It don't make you a bad person, but you're gonna forever be average because to be great, you got to keep up. I'm obsessed with improvement. Every day I'm getting better. This is the only opportunity I got. Every single day I gotta lose myself in this moment. As we begin to focus on developing ourselves, as we begin to elevate ourselves and not to follow the crowd, activating the thinker in us and disciplining and putting on hold the emotional part of ourselves. It's not easy, but through practice and practice and practice, practice makes improvement. You can always better your best. You can always go beyond anything that you have ever done. You never hit a state of perfection. You're always bigger than what you do. And so all you're looking for are new breakthroughs through practice and practice and practice. You'll get better and better and better. The more you do, the more you realize you can do. And the better you are, the better you realize that you can become. You gotta stop waiting for your circumstance to change. And you gotta change the circumstance. You gotta stop saying that something's gonna happen, that, that something's gonna change, that something miraculously is gonna take place in my life that's gonna put me where I wanna be is not gonna happen. But every day you wake up, every day you get up, you got an opportunity. Every day you wake up, your fortune teller is you. At the end of that lottery, ticket is you. Yep, you can be a millionaire. I don't know what you want to be or what you want to do, but I'm telling you, you can do it, but you got to understand that the person that's going to help you is the person that's the end of your arms, your hand. It's you. You have what it takes mentally. You have what it takes physically. You got the heart. You got everything it takes to make it happen. People say, it seems like you're stronger now. You're more committed now. It seems like your drive is higher now. We're happy. I'm wired differently. Every opportunity is the last opportunity. Every opportunity, I have to reprove myself again. Because the day you become content is the day you die. You have to make a decision that nobody in your position
position will I work you? A part of being a beast just ain't eating a gazelle. A part of being a beast is to hunt. Because real lions like to hunt. They love the process just as much as they love the pride. And some of y'all just want to score. You don't like the process. It is the process of the grind that shapes you and forms you. It's not the game. You think grind is what happens when the lights come on, when the sun comes out. That's not grind. The real grind is in the dark when nobody sees you, when nobody knows what you're doing, when you put in those extra rest. It's the process that makes you sweet. There are those of you with phones, and every new phone that comes out, you get it. Every piece of software, you get it. You are upgrading your technology, and you've not upgraded yourself. You don't think any different. You don't speak any different. You're the exact same person you were in 2010. I challenge you. Be obsessed with improvement and go from a gazelle to a lion. Why? Because if you don't kill it, then your family won't eat. Another way to look at that. And if if you don't kill it, your family doesn't eat. And that's that's a deep concept. That's if you're gonna get something done, man, and it's got a bigger reason than, than yourself, then you gotta get on that hunt. You gotta get on that mission. I stay on that mission. And people, you know, the world is very you off your mission. You know, it's it's like it's, it's so many distractions in the world, there's so many opportunities in the world and if you have an opportunity grasp that thing people gonna people people gonna tell you a whole lot of stuff along the way i was in auto sales auto sales offered me an opportunity uh, to to learn a lot about myself they didn't pay you to come to work they, they didn't pay you to be present they paid you to produce and production paid a handsome it was a lot of money involved in it by helping people and you get to be who you are so you get to work the way you work. You get to work with integrity. You get to work with principle. You get to work with passion. You get to work with a, a sense of urgency. You get to work with a sense of commitment. And you find out who you are by diligently going forward towards your goal when the goal seems so far away and so hard to reach that it just seems like, man, it's almost impossible. That's a stretch. Your goal should stretch you. Your goal should stretch you. It should make you uh, push a little bit harder than you thought you could. Get up a little bit earlier than you thought you could. Stay up a little bit later than you thought you could. Do a little bit more in the middle of the day than you thought you could. Make more calls than you thought you could. Make Send more emails than you thought you could. Make more connections than you thought you could. And go to the rooms that you thought you couldn't go in, but you're in. Presence offers opportunity like that. Being prepared for the day. Being prepared for what you want. We say we want a thing, but are we prepared to receive the thing that we say we want? Are we prepared to receive the thing we said we want? People have hit the lottery. You say you want to be rich. I come less than 10 years later, they're back even worse than where they were when before they hit the lot. It's a phenomenon. Not prepared. Now, I'm going to share a video of work well before I was prepared um, to walk into some doors. I was mentally wanting to do some things with my life, but I was going in doors previous to my preparation or documentation of, you know, where I wanted to be. I was introduced to people that were doing things that, that I, I thought were amazing. I didn't know how I got in the room, but you know how I got in the room? Presence. You know how I got in the room? Consistency. You know how I got in the room? Showing up for my own success with an open mind and a willingness to apply a passion towards what I wanted in my life. See, my passion had been to make a difference in other people's lives, using my life to make a difference in others. Was my life 
a life of overcoming, a life of consistency, a life of many ups and downs, twists and turns. And it's a continuing process. And I said, you know what? I'm going to share. I'm just going to be open and, and, and candid and available to put myself in position to be an example that anybody from anywhere can do anything that they want to do if they're willing to apply the work that it takes. So today, as we're talking about presence, purpose, persistence, the three P's of success, what I share with an audience of a little over 100 people in the room, great opportunity to receive and be uh, awarded, recognized for, for community service. But the impact it made on the room changed my life because the impact it made on the room impacted my life. Take a look at it. Stand by.
Jazz Abrations is unique in the fact that we honor jazz and blues legends over the age of 65 who have contributed more than 25 years to the industry. Our performances educate our families about legacy preservation and as we entertain our communities to have fun and to be educated about keeping the legacies alive. Welcome to the Jazz Zone. Allow the Jazz Zone to make the next event enjoyable and entertaining. The Jazz Zone is great for private parties, weddings, festivals, fundraisers, grand openings, and corporate affairs. Move up to the next level of entertaining with the Jazz Zone. Check out our website at jazzzone.net. That's J-A-Z-Z-Z-O-N-E.net. Or call the Jazz Zone at 626-798-6848. Man, 10 years, that's 14 years ago. 14 years ago, I was blessed to be able to share uh, some passion, purpose, and persistence towards what I wanted in my life. You know how you get somewhere? You go. You know how you do something? You do it. You know how you make something happen? You do the work to make something happen. And over time, you see that the, if you can stay consistent, if you can be persistent, and if you can apply a passion to a purpose that is given to you and facilitate the assignment that's attached to that purpose, you got some skills that are unique. You got a talent that's unique. You got gifts that are unique to you. You have blessings that are unique to you. Applying those blessings applying those skills, applying those talents, and applying that purpose to a, a razor focus over time gets you where you're going. Are we where we're going? I don't know about all that, but what I know is we're going where we're going if we can continue to go there. Here's an example. Got to have it. Couldn't get it. Stay committed to the work it takes. You never know how close you are. You may be just one more call, one more contact, one more swing away from that thing you want so bad in your life. Now, as you see on the asset right here, this one more chop. That, that fella got one more chop right there, all the diamonds fall out. Let's, let's use it as a thought. Somebody's talking to him. Somebody's been talking to him along the way of this route right here, as you see on the screen. Somebody's been telling him, man, why are you doing all that? You don't have to do all that. You don't have to, what, what, where are you going? You don't even know. If, you get feedback from close proximity from people that love us, want the best for us, want to see us succeed. They don't know where you're going because they don't know what your story is. So they may give you feedback that takes you off the path that's uniquely your own. The path that's uniquely your own is confusing to somebody else that's not on that path. But then you get some people that say, man, I like that path. I resonate with that path. I'm going to take that path right along with you. Give me that extra shovel. Give me that extra pickaxe. Let me make a few of those calls, too. Let me make a few of those emails as well. Let me show up early with you. When you got to have it, that doesn't even matter who goes and who doesn't go because you're going to place. And you hope that the place that you're going resonates with people that want to also go there. And they say, I got to have it. They got to have it. Right along with you for their own goals, their own mission, their own purpose. 
never stop trying. You can't give up a world one life. You can't give up on what he gave you to, to produce in this world. Biblical, babe in the word. I know what's in there. You know, you, you have a, a tenacity. You, you have a vision for something. Why did he give you the vision if it wasn't available to create? Why would he give you a vision that's unavailable to create? Don't work like that. You saw it because it's possible. Now, the possibility depends upon your ability to show up for your own success consistently, diligently, with passion and with purpose. You'll always see me. I'm like the first one in the room. Why? You don't have to do all that. So I come in the room, it's hot in the room a lot of times. to set up, right? Get in the room, it's going to be an event, it's going to be a meeting, especially if I'm involved in it. You know what I do? I get in there, I set up the chairs, I move around, I make sure that it's all prepared because that's who I am and that's who I, how I operate. By the time the, the setup is all getting going and the guests are coming and the rest of the group are appearing and it's time to get started, and I started it up from a hot room. Now it's cold. I need to turn up the heat because I came in and turned on the air conditioner, got it all set. Now, what if more people did that? What if your group showed up before you? What would that feel like? Man, that's the kind of people you want to get around. You know how you get around those kind of people? You be that kind of person. You be the kind of person you want other people to be. You, you produce the kind of uh work ethic that others can see within themselves you bring a spirit of excellence in everything you do do i have to get up early in the morning prepare for a podcast to present a show in a way where i'm fully prepared for the day no don't have to i see a lot of people that got hoodies than me everybody does what they do but the way you do anything is the way you do everything and the way i do everything is showing up for my own success in every single capacity that is available. If you could do that, you'll find yourself being offered opportunities that other people can't have. You find yourself in doors that you don't even know how you got in. They gave you a, a, a ticket to fly to Cabo for the convention. I gotta give a shout out to some amazing, um, an amazing couple just to hear publicly. Director Eric, and Desiree Ray Benson, uh, the two of you as mentor and coach in the same uh, household has allowed me that just to connect the dots to success for the success I want in my life. It's, it's allowed me to see things uh, clearly the way I want to live my life, the way I want to position my family, the legacy that I want to live, uh, and, and the seeds you've sown into me to develop personally, professionally, and as a leader in this company, it's totally changed the way I see not only myself, but I see what I could do for other people. That is an example of what's the word? Stick to itiveness. We can all get somewhere. I'm not where I want to be as far as my goals to achieve. I thank you for putting me in a position to reach them incrementally, step by step, day by day opportunity by opportunity you allow me to be who i am and bring the, the the passion the persistence and the purpose to a team that says we can all do this together so i, I thank you publicly about um the support you've lended me my family help me get all around the country you've done some amazing things in my life i totally 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 appreciate you and let's get on to the other side I want to share something with you as we get on out of here. You know, there was there was a time, just like I talk about, I want to share with you uh, just a throwback. So it's just it's throwback Thursday, right? So there was a time, as I said earlier, I was in, you know, auto sales. And the same thing I'm telling you now is the same thing I was doing. And I was offered an opportunity to have a job. That production is what paid. It wasn't time that they paid for. It was production. So I said, you know, if I'm going to be in this, I'm going to be in this. So I put my own marketing together, uh, built my own website where I could set appointments online. And I brought a whole team together that was at the dealership, but totally changed 
the culture through consistency. And I was able to put together my own uh, commercial to represent Clay Cooley, Mitsubishi of Arlington. Became the number one marketing uh, division in the country in Mitsubishi sales. Imagine that, number one. But well, here's a blast from the past. Stand by. Here, here. Clay Cooley, Mitsubishi of Arlington, home of the three thousand dollar trade. My name is Jonathan T. Man Owens. I am the internet sales and marketing director for Clay Cooley, Mitsubishi of Arlington, and I invite you to come see me. It's a family affair here. One of our founding members here is Clay Cooley, Mr. P.C. Rollington, Mr. Ron Johnson. How you doing, Key Man? I'm doing great. Great, great. Well, we pride ourselves here at Clay Cooley Automotive on customer service. That's what brings customers back, and that's what we rely on. Don't worry about finances. We will find a way to get you the vehicle that you need, want, and deserve. How about a challenge? Jaguar? We sold so many cars off of that deal right there. With uh, it was it was a success storm, and that's just pure passion. I had no script. I just had a passion to do something different in my life, and I wanted to be one of the top producers, not just there in the country, not just in the country, in the world. I was able to do some things that well before I was prepared to. Didn't he have a car when I started the job? I was catching a ride. Imagine that. Man, if you want to do something, get on out there and get it done. That's all I want to leave you with for today. Make it happen for yourself. Make it happen for your family. You got to have persistence. got to have purpose. And you got to absolutely be present every single time you get the opportunity to show up. Show up for your own success. We see you on the side, other side. This has been the Morning Grind, Grind Out Ladies one-on-one podcast. I'm your guy, Kijana Owens. We see you on the other side. Be blessed. Success Express Marketing Solutions presents your virtual video podcast studio. Let the Success Express team help bring your podcasting dreams to life. Here's what we do. We help you come up with show ideas, design graphics for your show, set up your podcast studio, and run the back end of your show. So what do you do? Be ready for your show. Make sure your guests are ready. Log into the virtual studio. Turn your cameras on and go. Not sure you're ready to go live on a monthly or a weekly basis? You can get the Try Us Out Success Special. It's only $97 with free design setup. All you got to do is try us out and I guarantee you're going to want more. So get set up today with your virtual video podcast studio from Success Express Marketing Solutions. So go online to Success Express MKTG and we'll get you set up today. Sign up now and get our free ebook, Modern Podcasting, that'll teach you all the techniques you need to know to get your podcast started today.